Hello. It is March 17th, and it is time for Wednesday Connections. In case you haven't heard it yet, happy St. Patrick's Day. What a fun day for us to celebrate together. I also hope that you are continuing um, this journey of our Lenten season with walking in the wilderness. And if not, I'm going to share a piece of it, of it with you today. Believe it or not, today is day number 25 in our Lenten journey. Hard to believe it, isn't it? We're almost to Palm Sunday, a little over a week away. But the word that they talk to us today about in day 25 is reconciliation. What a, what a big word, particularly in our world today. And so I want to share with you a little bit of scripture about reconciliation. This passage of scripture comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 through 20. And I am reading from a Bible called Simple Faith Bible that has got reflections in it from Jimmy Carter, who is one of my favorite people. He's very inspirational to me. And it's called, this particular portion of um, scripture is called the Ministry of Reconciliation. So listen with me to what the Spirit is saying to us today through Scripture. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we try to persuade others that we ourselves are well known to God, and I hope that we are also well known to your consciences. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you an opportunity to boast about us so that you may be able to answer those who boast an outward appearance, and not in the heart. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ urges us on, because we are convinced that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, so that those who, not, who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised for them. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once knew Christ from a human point of view. We know him no longer in that way. For if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ God, who's reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. So we are ambassadors for Christ. Since God is making his appeal through us, we entreat you on behalf of Christ. Be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. My friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. One of my favorite things about this Bible is that um, President Jimmy Carter has put just a few words of his own in, in between some of the passages. And right after this reading, he puts, Our doing good may reduce criticism of Christianity and lead others to Christ. I'm going to share with you the reflection from this book that is about reconciliation, the word that we are to carry in our heart today. The reflection goes like this. The Holy One transforms people and systems and calls us to a ministry of reconciliation. In this fractured wilderness season, we are more likely to retreat into ourselves than to reach out to others across differences. 
We are overwhelmed by what we see happening in our communities and in our nation and in our world and would rather escape into the bubble of our social media accounts where everyone seems to agree with us. But what would it be like to stop regarding others through human eyes, but to instead to see each person as a beloved of God, someone that we are called to love as much as we love ourselves? Then it goes on to say, But I must confess that I find it difficult to imagine myself sitting down with an enemy and knowing deeply that we are both beloved of God. But Jesus calls us to love rather than hate, to open hardened hearts to the fears and pain of, our, of other human beings despite their personal belief system or political view. What powerful words for a time that we are living in when there's so much polarity in our world, particularly politically. So listen with me to this, to this simple prayer for this day with the word that we are focusing on, which is reconciliation. Let us pray. Holy One, you call us to a ministry of reconciliation that seems too difficult to achieve. Give us eyes to see the belovedness in one another. Soften and open our hearts to those we know as other. Amen. As we typically do during Wednesday Connections, I'd like to close our time with inviting you, if you have a United Methodist hymnal, to take it and please turn to page 560. And let us sing together the very familiar hymn entitled, Help Us Accept Each Other. The words of this hymn are incredible, and I invite you to sing it as a prayer. Help us accept each other as Christ accepted us. Teach us as sister, brother, each person to embrace. Be present, Lord, among us and bring us to believe. We are ourselves accepted and meant to love and live. Teach us, ex O Lord, your lessons as in our daily life. We struggle to be human and search for hope and faith. Teach us to care for people, for all, not just for some. To love them as we find them, or as they may be calm. Let your acceptance change us so that we may be moved in living situations to, to do the truth in love, to practice your acceptance until we know by heart the table of forgiveness and laughter's healing art. Lord, for today's encounters with all who are in need, who hunger for acceptance, for righteousness and bread, we need new eyes for seeing, new hands for holding on. Renew us with your spirit, Lord, free us, may us one. As you hold this word in your hearts today, reconciliation, may you do so knowing that God may be calling you 
to ways and words and deeds that extend acceptance and reconciliation to others. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you are continuing to reach out to one another during this time. And know that I continue to miss you very much and look forward to being with you again soon. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.